Observers from the Special Monitoring Mission to Ukraine of the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe have reported movement of the Ukrainian Army's Uragan launch rocket systems in the security zone in eastern Ukraine, according to a report posted on the SMM website on Monday. The movement was observed 55 kilometers northeast of Donetsk. Unknown men in Balaklava synthetics on Monday attacked the office of the local branch of Ukraine's Communist Party in the western city of Lutsk, the press service of the Volin region interior department said. A member of the Communist Party received light injuries in the course of the attack. Lithuania has decided to provide limited military aid to Ukraine following a meeting between Presidents Petro Poroshenko of Ukraine and Dalia Gribaskaita of Lithuania in Kyiv. The move aims to bolster military cooperation between the two states. We have agreed on the supply of armaments for the Ukrainian armed forces, Poroshenko said, after talks with Lithuanian President Dalia Gribaskaita on Monday. Poroshenko's peace plan for Ukraine looks that way. A restoration of the European Union's strategic partnership with Russia would be most welcome, according to High Representative of the European Union for Foreign Affairs and Security Policy Federica Mogherini. Speaking in an interview with Austrian newspaper Courier published on Monday, Mogherini said Russia is a strategic country and has close relationships with the AU and is extremely important in terms of common geography, history, culture, economy and energy. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive up-to-date news on situation in Ukraine.